So I was just out here in the pontoon working, editing videos and doing whatever. And I got a reminder that I needed to be on a board meeting for the HOA. And so, you know, clicked over, joined the meeting, whatever. And uh, the president saw that I was working, you know, in the bar or whatever. And, you know, that's fine, cool, whatever. And then um, I needed to take a drink of water because, you know, I'm out here working, whatever. So she was mad, her and the entire board and everybody else that was on it, with, you know, this. I'm going to show it to you now, which made her die of laughter and then prompted her to ask me if I was drinking water or White Claw. And so I'm just going to... Oh, shit, I spilled. Actually, that all literally happened on camera there, too. And, uh, yeah, she did. She, uh, she wondered for a hot second, A, why is your jug of water so big? And two, uh, is it water? Or is that just a whole lot of White Claw? The answer is it's water. It's definitely water. But, you know, literally just happened. Had to share it with you. Funny, funny, whatever. Has nothing to do whatsoever with the pour today, except for it kind of does. Because water is in soap. And this particular soap is made to look like something that protects you from water. And so that's the thing. We're going to go with that. I'm going to tell you all about the soap in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay, staying hydrated. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You're at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day five of 365 days of soap, year two. Awesome. And today, Georgia May is continuing on with her four-part series of like, you know, late spring awesome soap things. And she is doing an umbrella soap. Like an umbrella inside the, with the hand. Yes. And it's, you know, spoiler alert, unbelievable. It's so cool. So she has some embeds, but she also has some scraping tools, all of the cool things. And I'm definitely here for that because nothing says Pacific Northwest Spring like an umbrella, except that's not exactly true. Actually, people who live here, they don't use umbrellas. They should, but they don't. And so now I don't because I don't want to be seen as like a tourist or a transplant, even though I am a transplant. Whatever. This soap, super awesome. Let's go check it out and I'm going to hope that my shirt dries so I can stop crouching down in the video so you don't see it. Okay, so first up, I am going to have to, you know, apologize right off the bat and ask you to bear with me because I am recording the audio for this on a different computer using a different microphone and it, all of the things that you literally don't care about. And I, I get it. I, I get it. Back when I was just a YouTube consumer, I would eye roll so hard when the YouTubers I followed would talk about their tech problems or their software problems or their problem problems that involved getting a video, you know, up onto the interwebs. And, you know, now that I'm a YouTube maker, YouTuber, I guess, um, I get it. And so, yeah, you know, that's, that's what we're doing today. I, I can take time to actually talk about all this right now because this is a Georgia May video. And uh, Georgia May is very great with 
her soaping. She approaches her soaps with precision and determination and a lot of extreme care and, you know, love. And so as a result, while she's lovingly folding her colors into her soap batter, it, it takes a little bit longer than, you know, how I soap. And so we've got time to talk about things like audio settings and all the things. The point is with all of that, I'm just working real hard to make sure you guys have great videos. So there you go. That's the thing. And uh, you know, the, the point that you're, the reason you're here is the title of the video, because you know how to read, right? It's a, uh, we're making an umbrella soap today. And that's cool. Now, the umbrella, the, like the handle of the umbrella will be that black thing that's up there. That's uh, an embed made out of melt and pour that George May took and then folded into kind of like a, a J, really. And then for the rest of the actual umbrella portion, like the part that keeps you dry, that will be um, actually sculpting tools will be used to make that work. And so I'm super excited for that. This sampling that she's putting in, she's already put the kaolin in and all the jazz, right? And the sampling that she's putting in, both from Nature's Garden, one is cotton candy, the other is lavender honey, a mix of both. And it's actually really good. It's a really cool scent blend. Now, from my memory, uh, the lavender honey does not discolor, but the cotton candy absolutely does. And I've always had problems with that, with cotton candy and um, bubble gum as well. They always discolor. But you know, cotton candy and bubble gum, you kind of want them to be like pink or blue, but they get dark. So her mixing the cotton candy with the lavender honey is actually really good. It's going to kind of stave off that inevitable discoloration, and so it won't, you know, do its thing, usually. Usually that's how that works. So she has poured her base layer in, which is, you know, cool. And now I assume she's going to want to wait to, for that to set up before she goes any farther with this to, uh, because I'm assuming she's going to put the, the handle of the umbrella in all the way to the bottom to like kind of make it all make sense because that embed right there looks to be about two-ish inches tall. So I'm assuming, yeah, she's totally, she's probably waiting for, that's why she has the heat pad up. She's waiting for this all set up so she can put that into the, the mold and then continue on with her, with her pour. Okay, and that's, uh, so she's gonna put some blue in there. Cool, like it. And that's still very wobbly. So I bet she's going to make that, let that set up for a while. Oh no, we're gonna put in some like, maybe some raindrops around the side of the umbrella. That's cool, I like that, for sure. This entire project I actually didn't have any involvement in whatsoever. The Soap Prentice was just like, hey, I, I want to do some spring soaps and she had like eight ideas and some of them involved really cool ideas for like Easter soaps and some egg type and it was awesome but um it's May so we missed Easter and okay cool I oh I love that that's very smart I like it so that's gonna be yep like very good sculpting tools that she created right there definitely here for that and then it's set up, oh yeah, it's set up nicely. So that's sitting in there very nice. So that's the thing when, it's always a challenge when you are working with soap that you want to set up, you want a layer to set up, but you want the rest of it to be fluid-ish. I guess for a pour like this, you don't necessarily need it to be fluid, right? For like, oh no, 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 she's actually carving out channels into this for the tips of the umbrella. So yeah, she definitely actually does need that to be, you know, fluid for that. So it'll actually all get into the the channels there. So it's always a, a timing game, trying to figure out how best to make your layer set up while the rest of your soap batter stays fluid. Usually what I do is I end up taking a stick blender to the bottom layer to make it set up faster, but also putting it on a heat pad, just like she did there. Great pro tip, that's a great idea. And then her batter here, still beautifully fluid. And I actually cut about, I don't know, 10-ish minutes out of this video wherein it was just setting up. So 
the fluidity of the rest of the batter after 10 minutes of the stuff in the mold setting up that's great like that's that says something about you know this recipe being a really good one for all manner of slow moving you know recipes now this particular recipe that she's using is the swirls mix my uh my swirls master batch which we will be doing on the channel soon in the next you know week or two yes and so you know i'll give you that recipe and you can play with it and tell me how you like it for sure but this is the current swirls batch and all of my master batches actually change be from batch to batch because i mix up like i don't know several hundred pounds at a time of each of my master batches and then i um when i'm out it just it's kind of me remaking them is sort of dependent on what oils i actually have in stock and i keep six oils in constant stock because i literally have giant barrels of them and the rest of them it's i have very large you know buckets of all of them but you never know you, you never know but so sometimes the swirls mix for sure gets changed up and you know it's it's all about oil substitution and spontification values and all the you know different fatty acid profiles and everything that makes me know that I can do that and that's part of learning how to you know do the things this pour this pour has been delightful, right? Everything's been super easy. Like there were no problems whatsoever with this. And I'm very curious to see this cut. And so we're gonna, you know, move on to the cut right now. And this will be put in the oven for CPOC and gel. And then, you know, cut overnight or, you know, the next day. Normally I stop talking during those little screen thingies, but I'm working on a a laptop like a Mac laptop right now because I, I got it for live streaming right so we can run live streams at the pontoon and the Soprentis as a spoiler alert has agreed to come and do some live streams so I am going I'm very interested in uh, anyway I'm confused about the, the Mac I can't figure out how to whatever so I talked through the thing and I'm not gonna talk through that though look at that cute little umbrella oh my god that's adorable she didn't show us the other side. So, that's cute. That's super cute. Turn it over. Oh, yeah. That's how an umbrella is supposed to go, right? With a little hook to the left. Is that right? Oh, look, and she got a little raindrop. I think she's excited about that. Like, there's a... Or maybe she's mad about it. Like, it makes no sense that there's a raindrop under. No, I think she's excited. I think she's genuinely excited. Yeah, I mean, the handshake. She's always so good at her expressions using her hands isn't she like it's the most adorable thing in the world and so are these soaps they are so gorgeous and yeah i mean well done that's that's super cute that's like a perfect addition to this little spring line thing that she's doing here and she's got some raindrops underneath that she's gonna have to weigh in, in the comments and let us know if she thought that was cool or not because i think it's cool and her hand suggested, her hand motion suggested that she thought it was cool too, but I don't know. I could be reading it wrong. But all in all, those bars are gorgeous. And the whole cotton candy and lavender honey blend, that's a big winner. Like, it smells really good. There's like this cool sugar kick to it. We have the herbaceousness of the lavender and, a, you know, another sweet kick from the honey. It's delightful. It's a really good blend. And, uh, yeah, that's a day something what day are we on but that's the umbrella day five yeah and there you have it georgia may's umbrella soap and oh my god it's absolutely gorgeous i love this so much and it pairs so beautifully with the sedona sunset tulip thing that she did a couple days ago i mean so far this this whole series is lining up to be just thematically gorgeous and that's exciting for sure and uh yeah that's awesome now I forget to tell you these things because I'm still getting in the groove of your two. Uh, but if you are interested in purchasing this soap, you can totally find it on the website in a couple days. We're going to release all of them as a cute set. 
as well as being able to purchase them individually for sure, all of the things, but they'll be available at soapandclay.com in a couple of days. Also, I've been forgetting to tell you to follow me on my socials because whatever, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But yeah, that for sure. Um, if you are interested in more soapy antics and seeing what else we come up with and checking out the remaining two in this particular soap series, subscribe to the channel. Come back and watch the Soap Prentice in action and get some recipes from me and all the, all the things for sure, do that. For those of you who are subscribed to the channel and are doing all the things, hey, thanks for being here to do all the things with me. I really enjoy it. I am glad that you joined me for another round of 365 days of soap. I'm out of here for today. I'll see you guys all again tomorrow. Bye.